Hello everyone, uh, I have a wonderful, I will say, an explant warrior, you can see right here. Uh, you are eight days out from your surgery, and uh, let me ask you a few questions. How's everything going for you? Great, fabulous. Now, as soon as I walked in, you said you have a lot of energy. Tell us more about your energy. I don't feel fatigue anymore. Um, tired, I stayed up, I stay up past nine o'clock now when I used to go to bed at, what, 7, 8 o'clock at night. Um, I just feel great. I feel amazing. <laughs> sure. Now, how much research did you do on your uh, breast implant illness and wanting to get explanted? And what were your friends telling you? Um, pretty much that I was um, lying about it. Um, there's no such thing. Um, I did so much research that I pretty much diagnosed myself and I found the breast implant illness um, page, and then I found you. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Now, what will you tell you, you? You said a very important thing. Eventually, breast implant illness will touch everyone, whoever has implants. Some sooner. Look, I have a lady that I'm going to take care of on Tuesday. She is only three weeks into her very first augmentation, believe it or not. And another lady I talked to this morning, she is three months into her uh, augmentation and she wants to remove them. Now tell us what you think from your research uh, is, are breast implants meant to be forever in the patients? No, not at all. I really don't think they're safe at all. Yes, right. and you know as you can see, but what else have you noticed? You mentioned the depression this uh, in the last few days, how quote, different you feel? I just, I feel um, a lot of energy. I feel happy. Um, I don't have chronic sinusitis anymore, um, don't have to take any allergy pills, um, no more muscle pain. Um, where was the muscle pain you were having? Um, I was pretty much having it in my shoulders, like to where I could not um, lift. Um, it would pretty much restrict me. Um, I would have even pain in my legs, like after working out. Um, mm -hmm. It would go for days and days, and I would want to lay in bed. I would take naps. Mm -hmm. and, and you're so, a trainer. You're a trainer. You're athletic. You're yes, really, like you exercise yes. a lot. Five so. to six days a week. Um, and then I, there were days where I would just leave the gym and be like, "What's going on with me?" and crying, and I just I didn't understand any of it. And I've had tests ran, went to neurologists. Um, so many doctors and then I figured you know this could be my implants so I started looking up is there an illness with implants and then that's when I found the page of uh, breast implant illness and I found you mm -hmm. now do you did you need a drain no no so Not again at all. you can safely do the surgery you have relatively large implants and certainly the surgery was done and um, you know overall I'm very happy and pleased with your progress and we'll continue to hear from you such that, uh, you know, you continue to share your journey. Now, the other thing we noticed was your before and after, and your significant other also mentioned, you took, you mentioned this yourself in pre-op, and I remember clearly I've taken pictures of my face before mm -hmm. and now, and we'll certainly see how, the, you know, the facial, uh, basically, expressions that you have before and after x just eight days out, the differences before and after so that we can see right before our eyes how you have improved. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Anything you want to tell anyone? Um, just if, if you have implants, get them out. Get them out because the, eventually you will have problems. It will start with one symptom and lead to another. Right. And they're, they're not meant to be forever. Take them out before they cause problems if they're not yes. causing problems already. And I, I love my chest. I... I'm, I, I love it. <laughs> oh, no, no, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate uh, you sharing your experience. We'll hear from you in a couple of weeks when you come back. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.